Okay. Stream is starting and we are live. Hello, this is Matt from XO Pro Tech and today I've got a real treat for you. We have a new MacBook Pro 15 inch with touch bar. It's the model number A1707. Now this MacBook Pro has had water spilt on it. Uh, it's basically on the screen. I, I don't know if you can see the thumbnail that we chose for this uh, for this stream, but it should show you the, the screen. It has got uh, quite severe water damage. Um, the MacBook actually loads up correctly. It, uh, it does boot. But um, just sort of underneath the screen, you can see that there is quite a lot of water damage. So what I'm going to be doing for this stream is opening this up and investigating how far that water has penetrated into it. So we can, uh, you know, just make we can clean everything up if uh, if we need to uh, make sure that there's no further corrosion of components or anything like that. So, yeah, this is. Um, this is one of the new models. I think it was um, this got released end of 2016. Uh, I'm not sure how long the customers had it, but uh, yeah. Um, another fault on this as well as as well as the liquid underneath the screen, we also have the the touch bar is not functioning at all at the minute. It's not loading up. It's not lighting up or anything like that. Now, from from what I've seen from other people's from my fix it uh, and other people's teardowns, the touch bar is pretty much uh, completely sealed under a bit of glass under a bit of and that or plastic maybe that's that's very very difficult to uh, to to get off in one piece without damaging the touch bar now from my investigation as well um parts wise for this new model there is literally nothing in the uk at all um that we can potentially get a new screen for it um but the cost, cost-wise, you will be looking at about uh, 950 pounds for a for a new screen for this version of MacBook Pro. So, um, you know, it's not economical for the customer to change the screen uh, fully at this point. So, we're, we're going to try our best to, uh, to 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 sort of get rid of that liquid that's underneath the screen. And uh, also, as I say, we're going to try and get rid of if there is any liquid penetrated into the motherboard we're going to get rid of that and um make this macbook pro great again <laughs> so um okay we've uh, let me just grab a few little bits and bobs before we start just so that we can get uh, once we open it up we can we can get straight to it and hopefully we can get rid of any any sort of water residue that's that's present when we see it. So uh, I'm not going to I'm not going to open it up and show you the screen. You should be able to see that from the from the thumbnail that we provided. Um, the reason being, obviously, I don't want you to see any customer details, etc. Basically, when you load the uh, when you open this MacBook up, it it loads straight up. So I must say they do load up very very fast for these new MacBooks literally straight on once you open the cover so let's um this is five star pentalobe screws um as made famous on the other macbook pros And just a uh, just a word of warning: if you if you do have one of these MacBook Pros, the new ones, and if you've gone out splashed out on it, just uh, just make sure that your insurance will uh, will cover it for the value in case of accidents like this, because uh, my customer has obviously uh, been stung because his insurance won't pay pay out for the for the value on this device so yeah if you if you do do get a get a nice gadget and it's worth a bit of money it is worth it checking with your insurance company just to make sure that uh, in the case of any accidental damage they will pay out 
obviously this isn't covered under Apple's any of Apple's warranty programs because because of the liquid damage. So uh, now then, this uh, this slides out apparently. Trying to figure out which way it's like. I think it's this way. Let me just consult. Now apparently this uh, this sort of this uh, the, the bottom part of this actually uh, sort of lifts and lift, well you should be able to just push it out but uh, this is quite it's quite a strong uh, I'm sure it'll become obvious <laughs> but uh, it's not quite not doesn't seem to be obvious to me at the minute. Just double check the screws. Yep, we've got all the screws and Okay, we just need to run this round. Let me just see if you guys are still there. Okay, so what I've done, you can just about lift that up and then just go around the side there, and we are home free then. And we're able to just slide that off there. That was quite tricky, if I'm perfectly honest with you. Um, so yeah, just make sure you've got a bit of uh, get a bit of leverage under leverage under there, and then you should be able to just uh, slide it out from that way there. It's always difficult doing things for the for the sort of first time. It's uh, you know you never want you don't want to break it obviously because <laughs> these things work um, quite a lot of money. So, uh, you know, you don't want to uh, rip the thing off. But uh, anyway, um, so from this initial view, uh, we can see 
it doesn't seem to have penetrated too far down um you know on onto to this side of the board i'll just double check the cover in fact um, so yeah the the cover looks fairly clear from liquid to be perfectly honest so it doesn't look as if it's gone that far down which would explain why we can still uh get it to boot up etc etc hmm. Now then, you'll see, just, uh, let's see if I can get that a little bit closer. You'll see that um, there's a red, sec red spot there and a red spot there. That's basically Apple's uh, liquid indicators. They have been triggered, so um, the, the customer would never really get... Uh, you know, support from Apple, etc., etc. Just bear with me a second. Okay, don't worry, I'm back. <laughs> right, let's... Um, so yeah, those those red dots there have been triggered. Um, those are Apple's liquid indicators, as I was saying. Um, So ideally, what we're going to do, we're going to take off the uh, we're going to take off the battery, and we're going to take out the motherboard as well, so that we can uh, we can obviously get to the other side because there's, we're not going to be able to see everything from this side here, and obviously because there's no liquid, no uh, visible liquid damage for, from this side here, we'll uh, we'll we'll go ahead and and uh, we'll, we'll we'll have a look. We'll basically try and get the board flipped over. Let me just move my microphone. So. So on this model, they've used uh, slightly smaller torque screws. Okay. Normally you can get away with just the torque T5. Um, right, this one is, uh, the one that we're using for this is a T3, torque T3. Uh, this is actually the the battery. This part here is uh, just for the battery. This little uh, little, little snake coil. And it's basically just a flip up catch, and we should be able to just. Take this out. So there's another. Uh, there's a. There's another white sticker there from uh, Apple's. Uh, Apple's.
liquid detector detection system. So we know that the liquid hasn't come this far down the board anyway, so... So we're basically just going to be taking everything off this board so that we can get just the board itself. And then we can get round to the other side and clean it all up if we need to. Just prize that up there. I think that's for the, uh, for the keyboard if I'm not mistaken. And what we've got over here, we've got, I think that's all the connectors this side, um, these ones here, these are the speakers, I think, we just need to lift those up, there we go, and this same on this side here, they just pop up, okay, um, now then, I can see a bit of corrosion around this side of the board here. Yeah. Can you see it? Just some little green blobs just over that side where the water has seeped through. I love uh, Lewis Rosman's description of water damage. He says uh, that you can always tell water damage because a uh, it looks like a big green monster has come and uh, and crapped all over your board, and uh, he just points out little bits of green crap everywhere on the board. Where does he get his material from? That's what I want to know. Holy moly. Do, 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 do. Yeah, just under that connector as well, there's, there's a bit of liquid. So this is going to be quite a fun job. Uh, let's get the uh, let's get the Wi-Fi off. The cables here. There we go. Yeah, the, on this board there uh, there just seems to be everything attached to it. There's um, there just seems to be so many cables and uh, ribbon cables and and screws and ah, uh, it's everywhere. But then you know what what would you expect from a this is a this is a more advanced system uh, than the one that came before it. So you know you shouldn't be really surprised that that there's more to it.
No, EY's just started up. On his channel. Okay, flip that up there. And then Right, let's uh, let's have a look at oh let's go for this one here. I think this is the connector that uh doesn't connect to anything, if I'm not mistaken. Nobody seems to to know exactly what it's for. But yeah, this is There we go. So this connector here is uh is literally just a blank little connector there. And the theory is that basically that connector will uh, will connect in so you can get damaged uh if if your if your board becomes damaged and you need to retrieve the data, Apple should be able to plug something in there and retrieve your data. Uh I'm not sure, entirely sure if that is uh, if, that, if that is fact or not. But uh, you know, we'll obviously with, with this board being so new, with this uh, model being so new, uh, quite a lot of it is speculation surrounding it. So we'll we'll see eventually. Right, I'm just going to go around the board and get all the screws off. Take out any screws that I see. Wow, that is a thick screw there. And then hopefully we can uh, we can get the board out and have a good look round and see where this water's uh, gone to. So I fix it gave this uh that gave this board a one out of ten rating for uh for upgrade ability for or a tear down ability as it were. Uh I can s I'm beginning to see why. Just screws everywhere. Uh Okay, where are we? Over on the uh, on over on these heat sink bits, there are some uh, unusually large screws for for this type of product. I think they are a. Let's see if I can read it. Uh, no, my uh, my screwdrivers ran out. Uh, the detectors actually rubbed out, should I say. Right. Can we get this off? Just this connector in the corner to do. Oh, there we go. It's uh, hidden under a bit of metal for some reason. Um, let's see if we've taken everything out that we need to.
Okay, I think I'm going to have to remove uh, this part here as well. Uh, oh, Jesus. Uh, those are on the T3 screw again. I don't know what that's... Oh, okay. It's just a cover for the... Uh, for the hinge. Uh, that allows us to remove that there. Uh, maybe this will allow us to get the board out. Let me turn this round, because there seems to be a stoppage on this side. Okay. That will be that bit there, and that bit there. Just little bits everywhere. <laughs> okay. And turn it back around this way. Okay, we've got a little connector just there as well. It needs to come off. Again, that's on a T3. Okay. And then that actually comes through. That comes right through to here. And let's take that off there. And... Um, Release me. <laughs> okay, there's just a little thing there as well. And we are free. Let's see what the damage is. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay, so we've got quite a bit of damage over this side of the board here. Uh, it's quite... Uh, the liquid has got... Just there. You can see the sort of slightly greeny area. Yak. And... There is also, you might be able to see that a bit better, all that green stuff there is all water damage, which all needs to be cleaned off and made great again. It's all right. Um... Again, we've got uh, under this connector here as well. We've got some. Uh, we've got some green, which uh, which will also need to be cleaned. And there's there's quite a bit of the gunk around here as well. Pialb and uh, 
um, around the other sort of areas. Uh, it doesn't look doesn't look too bad. An interesting thing about this is that the uh, is that the fans are actually glued sort of down. Well, they're not glued down. They are uh, sort of positioned onto the uh, onto the body of the Mac. They're not uh, they're not sort of just like before. You would need normally need to get these fans off uh, before you take the board off. But this in this case, uh, you know, in this model, if that isn't the case. Okay, let's move the body uh, out of the way. We're going to need to uh, to get that someplace warm uh, so that we can try and get the screen sorted on it. And let's get some trusty alcohol. It is Friday after all. And start... Uh, probably what I'm going to do actually is uh, is take some pictures. Just so that I know where the... where the corrosion's basically been and um, just in case there's any problems further on down the line um if you or if if there was potentially another tech that needed to take a look at this uh if i've got pictures of where the damage was and um basically it'd be a lot hell of a lot easier if i need to come back at a later date I'll basically have a reference, uh, you know, for the for, for where the, which areas were damaged, um, you know, because there there could be I could do some lights, um, I could put this through an ultrasonic, I could um, try and get rid of it with alcohol, but it still might some of the uh, one of the components might still uh, might still break, might uh, you know the liquid could get under some of the components, and uh, once we've once that happens um, and you've cleaned away all the residue, it's going to be very difficult for someone else or for me coming back to it at a later time and date to, to, to figure out where the damage was. So this is the reason why you should really take um, good documentary evidence of, uh, of, of where liquid spills, liquid damage was. Okay, okay. So yeah, obviously we we don't have a I don't have a schematic for this at the minute. Um, I don't know if I'm pretty sure that they won't be available yet. Uh, one hasn't fallen off the back of a lorry yet, but um, so yeah, I've I've literally no idea what uh, what goes on on this side of the board. Hopefully, this side of the board is it's obviously not used for key uh, things because otherwise we'd have we wouldn't the the MacBook wouldn't boot basically. And so I, I'm thinking, hopefully, that this side of the board might be to do with with the touch bar. Um, cleaning it up, we might be able to get that touch bar back up and running again. Um, I mean, the, the touch bar itself might just be uh, just absolutely clogged with water. <laughs> you know, it's it's basically just an OLED, a little OLED screen uh, underneath some glass. So uh, there there is potential for that, or the potential that uh, this uh, the water's got in here, and uh, you know, one of the components actually is controlling that OLED board so there could be potential for a good fix here if uh, if if these parts if these components here are uh, are controlling that 
So, um, let me just, I think that's enough for now on the board for taking pictures of it. Let's try and get, make this great again. So, I'm going to bring the, the microscope round to be honest with you. Uh, blah, 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 blah. So just so I can get a better view, unfortunately it's not going to uh, improve your view. Uh, not until I get a trinocular one anyway. Uh, let's try and put this microphone above there. Above the, uh, above the microscope. Oh, let's try and do it this way. Yeah, it just uh, it totally makes it worse the, uh, the the look of the damage when you've got it under a microscope. Yeah. So yeah, we've got a, um, a chip here where it might have potentially got under. Yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. So there's that component there that's totally... <laughs> totally covered in blue. Crap. And yeah, we've got components around here that are nasty. Uh, the connectors are actually not too bad. It's, uh, it's more this connector here, really, that's uh, taking the brunt of it on this end here. So um, so yeah I mean basically with this with this uh, we, we're, we're totally limited on what we can do because of the lack of parts and we're just gonna have to basically try and clean it and, and hope for the best because there's, there's, there's not a lot else I can do really. Without uh, without having any parts, without having any schematics available, and yeah, without without the customer having some sort of insurance to fall back on, is is uh, literally stuck between a rock and a hard place. So I'm just gonna. Do this under the microscope. Uh, it's going to be a lot easier for me. So um, I'm using the cotton bud Q-tip for the Yanks. Um, basically, just to put some alcohol on it. This is like 100% alcohol IPA or. Uh, IPA is isopropanol alcohol. Totally forgot what it was then. If you are buying any of the uh, the isopropanol alcohol, make sure you're getting the. It needs to be nearly. It needs to be at least sort of ninety nine percent. Don't cheap out for the seventy percent. 
because you might run into problems. Oh god. So luckily for the customer, there's there's no loose components on here that um, you know that have corroded and blown by the looks of things. Not that I can see anyway. Um, they do look nasty, but fortunately, there's none that um, I would say uh, have any hairline cracks in it or um, are, are totally blown. If you are the proud owner of a of an ultrasonic, uh, this will probably be the point where you put it in the ultrasonic and I mean to be honest, uh, oh okay. Yeah, we, we haven't even really looked at the other side. Um, so yeah, you can actually take these uh, these heat sinks off. So you can put it in the ultrasonic, not a problem at all. Uh, yeah, there's quite a bit of corrosion on the other side as well, which we'll deal with in a minute. So by the way, the, the al isopropanol alcohol, um, it's not just to clean it, what it also will do is displace any water that, uh, that, that remains. So if there, if there is any sort of water um, or liquid that's still under any chips, what the, what the isopropanol alcohol will do is actually Uh, displace that ah right what I'm going to do I'm just going to take the tip off the uh, q-tip um, basically get it between some tweezers just because there's some areas that I can't really get to it while it's uh, in its current state I need to make it a bit smaller. Put it in there. If you do this, just make sure that you're not scraping the uh, <laughs> the components with your tweezers. Okay, um,
what we'll probably also do as well is get a toothbrush onto this just to help get any of the other parts where we can't just quite reach like in between that gap there Ugh. right um, let's go for the other side where this uh, where this liquid has also managed to uh, yak <laughs> to get to and again let's take some photos just to make sure that if we do need to come back we can uh, we, we know where the damage was we know which components potentially might have been damaged yeah 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 Yeah. Um, yeah, and I think that is all of it there. So yeah, it, it really does seem to be concentrating mainly on this uh, this other side here. Let's get back under the microscope and uh, wah, get in with our cute. It's just amazing how much uh, how much damage just a little bit of water can do. Uh, you know the corrosion wise. Again, we're going to look for components that potentially are yeah, are loose, uh, uh, cracks in it. I mean, there's the, even if there are uh, components like that, there's this. There's not a lot we can really do. Uh, to be fair, but um, if we, we can sort of mark them as it were, and when the when when we do start to see donor boards come through, we can uh, repeal and replace, <laughs> as uh, as Mr. Rosman would say. Mm -hmm. At a later time and date, uh, we can replace those components and make it great again. Wow. Huh. What is that? Can't tell if there's a little bit here or if part of the uh, the board has been sort of torn. Hmm. Looks like it's actually been torn. Just ever so slightly. Ugh. Again, we've got potential corrosion under this chip here. It's more nasty corrosion. Around this area at the top of the chip. Yeah.
And it's toothbrush time. So that's it, you don't want to be too rough with your toothbrush. Uh, dip it in the, in the alcohol. And just sort of work your way around where you see the uh, where the corrosion is. And just help get into all those gaps that we can't particularly get to with the uh, with the earbud. As I say, if you've got a if you've got an ultrasonic, you would ideally uh, strip this board completely down and put it in the ultrasonic. But it might be a good idea, um, as I say, just to just to go through this procedure anyway, just to make sure that there's no components that are uh, that are loose that are going to come off because once they've come off. Um, you're going to have to be tracing them all the way through the schematic and the board view. And we don't even have a board view or a schematic for this uh, for this device, so uh, this is the best thing to do for us in this situation. Uh, let's turn it over and do the other side. Go that far there. Again, toothbrush will just help in these connectors here. If you've got any. But yeah, this uh, this customer must have been absolutely gutted. You made a big investment like this, and then yeah, you go and tip water over it, or someone else tips water over it. Absolutely gutted you'd be. Right, let's just have a quick look, see how we are faring. Uh, we're not looking too bad. We seem to have got most of the corrosion. Whisked away, but um, as I sort of said, um, you know the the toothbrush method, the the Q-tip, the the earbud method is is not entirely reliable because if the liquid has got under chips, uh, you know this this toothbrush is just sort of scraping the surface, as it were. You you know it's it's never going to get underneath that chip there the same that say an ultrasonic would. I mean, if um, if there was some liquid under there and you suspected it, there's uh, probably what you should do is um, you, you would literally just pour some of the 
isopropyl alcohol on, onto the chip and hope some of it, that sort of forces the liquid out. Um, your isopropyl alcohol will evaporate on its own, so there's no worry for that to be left under the chip once you've done. As long as you sort of leave enough time um, and shove the board in an air filter, um, and we're probably going to need to bake the board as well. Just to ensure any of this alcohol is, is gone. Do, 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 do. Uh, where was I just scrubbing away? Yeah, there we go. So yeah, there, there appeared to be a bit, quite a bit there. So I'm going to put quite a bit of alcohol on there. And again, let's have a look how we're looking on the other side. Again with this chip here, I'm going to put a bit of alcohol on there. Pretty sure we'd uh, we've got a good penetration there. Okay, I think that's enough scrubbing for now. Um, so what we're going to do now, we're going to leave this uh, this. To dry and we are going to um, we're going to put that in an air filter we're going to put the screen the rest of the uh, the MacBook Pro body uh, into into a sort of warm room try and get some of that liquid out of the, to come out of the screen um, unfortunately yeah there's as I say there, there's no there's literally no spare parts for this machine so um, we're, we're kind of winging it here to be, let's be perfectly honest um, you know if, if something goes wrong um, the you know that's uh, that's it there is a, there won't be a lot of things we can do with it so um, in this sort of you know if you're in this situation you need to uh, you need to proceed with a bit of caution obviously because if you if I knocked a component off the board if something went wrong I'd be absolutely knackered <laughs> and you know the, the, then the customer would, would, would be without um, I mean obviously I want what's best for the customer really um, you know I want them with a working machine at the end of the day And hopefully by the end of this process, I can give them something that will uh, that will work. Um, or even if it even if the screen just looks a little better than what it did, um, you know that that will be a result. Hopefully we can get the touch bar working again. Um, I'm not going to be sure if that is the case. 
but um, yeah, we're gonna have to sort of leave it for you know in, in an air purifier in, with some heat for a for a good sort of twenty four hour period, I think, and uh, see how we go and uh, see see how it dries out. I've done laptop screens before where the, we've sort of dried them out, and um, you know what, they, they don't look too bad, but you can uh, you can always sort of tell that, that that it has been liquid damaged. You can always tell there's there's almost like salt marks that you can see down the screen. Um, you know, it, it's uh, it's obviously a cheaper method than replacing the screen. Um, but as I said before, we 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 literally have no option on this one. So um, yeah, let's um, wow, quarter seven already. Let's uh, let's leave it at that for today. Um, I'm going to put, the, as I say, I'm going to put this on an air purifier. I'm going to try and get rid of all this, uh, the, this alcohol. Make sure I've got rid of all the alcohol, and uh, we're going to put the the rest of the MacBook in uh, into a warm area, and let just let that uh, sort it. Try and sort that sort itself out, and uh, hopefully we can. Uh, I'll, I'll be able to show you the results uh, once I've figured out how to put all this back together. You can just see the screws on my desk as well. <laughs> Absolutely tons of them. Um, if you would like to support the channel, um, maybe see more of what I'm doing if I had a uh, trinocular microscope with a uh, with a video camera attached to it, uh, you'd be able to see what I, what I can see under the microscope. Uh, if you do want to help us out, there's a button in the there's a there's a link in the description where you can we can make a donation uh, it'd be very much appreciated and hopefully we can uh, you know I can show you guys some some more things um, in the future with some uh, with some better technology so this has been Matt from Excel Pro Tech thank you very much for watching if you liked it subscribe and please like dislike do whatever you want and um, that is all for now. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.